As we talk about molecular geometry, we're going from a chemical formula to a Lewis structure to getting some steric numbers to a molecular geometry. Now, chemical formula and molecular geometry are not uniquely paired. That is, you can have chemical formulas with different molecular geometries. Here's some examples where I'll have the same chemical formula, in this case C2H6O, but I can arrange the atoms like this or like this. These two molecules have dramatically different properties. This is ethanol and this is dimethyl ether, but they have the same chemical formula. Molecules that have the same chemical formula, but the orientation of the atoms are different, are called structural isomers. Here's two more structural isomers. Here's C2H2Cl2. This molecule, I can arrange the chlorines and the carbons like this or like this. So here I have a carbon with two chlorines. Here I have a carbon with a chlorine and a hydrogen. So those are structural isomers. The bonding patterns are different. This structural isomer, I can arrange in a more subtly different way, where the two carbons still have a chlorine and a hydrogen attached to them, but the orientation of a chlorine has changed. That's a more subtle form of isomerism, where the structure is, the, is relatively the same, the bonding patterns are the same, the connectivities are the same, the chemical formulas are the same, but an orientation has changed. This orientational change leads to stereoisomerism. These molecules generally have more similar properties than structural isomers, but these two in particular have at least one very different property. This molecule here will have a permanent dipole moment where symmetry will cancel the bond dipoles in this molecule and have no dipole moment. We'll also have a dipole moment in this molecule. So these structural isomers could be distinguished by dipole moment. These stereoisomers could be distinguished by dipole moment. Structural isomerism and stereoisomerism is something that's very important in nature, and we'll look at that a lot in this course.